Not the kind of news you want to hear with temperatures soaring in the 90s again, but the water of the beaches we go to could make you sick. Researchers say several Great Lakes beaches, including Lake Erie, often have higher than acceptable levels of bacteria. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee is live in Edgewater tonight. Deb, there were a lot of beach closing and advisory days there last year. Oh, there certainly were, but happy to say tonight, at least here at Edgewater, there are no advisories. It looks like the water quality is going to be pretty good for all of those folks who plan to head to this beach and some of the others in the area the rest of this week. Sims Beach in Euclid, one of Northeast Ohio's hidden treasures on a hot day like this. But far too often, bacteria levels in the water here are higher than the national standard. In fact, according to the Natural Resources Defense Council, only Louisiana has dirtier beach water than Ohio. I'm really surprised, but I can tell when you walk on the edge of the shore there, you can see the dirt. It rolls in. I don't actually go in. I just, you know, sit around like the shore area. You know, just relax and look at it, but you can actually see. The Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District, which examines the quality of our beach water, can pinpoint three key reasons for the high bacteria levels. Combined sewer overflows and overflows from sanitary sewer systems are a source. Stormwater runoff and management of beach sands are another problem. Gulls and geese and ducks frequent the beach, leave behind bacteria. The amount of raw sewage flowing into the lake is expected to be reduced with construction of the Euclid Creek Tunnel and the development of a storm water management program. When there's bacteria in the water column, People need to be careful about whether or not they're going to choose to swim on any given day. Susan Calloway's grandchildren went swimming at the beach for the first time today. Like some of the other swimmers here, Susan didn't know about the beach report. Oh, we'll definitely take a bath afterwards, but I had no idea that the, you know, the beach waters was filthy as it is. Oh, it's something yeah. to think about. Something to think about. So what, ha what does happen when you swim in water at a beach like this that might have high bacteria levels? Well, according to this beach report, you open yourself up to all kind of illnesses, including ear and nose infections, encephalitis, hepatitis, stomach flu, even some skin rashes. The best defense, don't go in the water if there's an advisory posted. Live at Edgewater, Deborah Lee, News Channel 5.